welcome back. Big Paul, Big Paul's trucking. Now's the time. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys watching all my stuff. I want to show you where we're at. Now we're starting. This is the beginning of the next video. Frame rails are in. Now we got to get the cab mount. Let's see the exhaust mount and the cab mounts down here on the floor. Cleaned up, wire wheeled, sandblasted, reworked, primed. Let's check this out. So let me show you what we got to do here. Got some problems. This is all rotted out. <laughs> Top and bottom. Sides are okay. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be cutting all this out and replacing it with new metal. Drill the new holes and uh, both sides. So and then this one, I'm actually gonna go get my little sandblaster out, my little pressure pot, do some sandblasting on that. Get it in primer, and then we're going to put it back on. All right, you guys, just a quick video. All the fabricating's done. Look, I had to cut three bad spots out. Look at the crack in that one. Actually, you can see it better if I flip it over. Look at that. I thought that side was all right, but upon closer uh, inspection, it is not. Any which way. I cut all the bad out, put all new. So it turned out real good, guys. Check that out. I got the patch on the inside. Repaired that little ear. And then this here's that big patch. All the holes match. Line up. You can look down the hole. Oh, that one works. Let's see. Yep. That one too. You can't see there's no light down there. But the holes all line up. So. That's a fair amount of fabricating. Took me all day. Cut that rusty junk out, but I had to reuse it. I don't want to make the whole thing, and that's what we're using for mock-up for now. All right, you guys, here's where we're at. Fall the second. Sandblasting my uh, exhaust bracket right now. We've been working trying to get this done, but, boy, it's a lot of sandblasting. We got another uh, 20 or so parts we got to get done today and get these things in primer. Appreciate you watching. Hey everybody, it's Big Paul. I want to show you where we're at. Uh, this is kind of a slow going week and it's been pouring rain all day today so it's killing my progress. But uh, I want to show you guys where we're at, what we're doing, and uh, what's going to get done next because we're trying to get that cab mount on. But we got this whole pile right here of uh, cross members, cab mount, engine mounts, brackets, that need to be sandblasted and i got a couple more brackets over on that bench here i'll zoom in right there more brackets i was planning on sandblasting today but it, the rain's killing me yesterday i got these brackets done just a couple things but they got to be primed these are all for the air ride for the cab uh, i took that whole thing apart down to every last piece and uh Got new shocks coming right here. Shocks for the cab. Get some new airbags coming. And actually, there's a couple pieces that rivet down right here where the cab sits down. And they were all messed up and gone. I actually found those from PAI. Ordered them. They're on their way. But uh, this big pile of uh, stuff to sandblast uh, is holding me up. 
So uh, we're going to get a video out this week, but I want you guys to know what's up. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all. Well, running good. Looks like we did a good job on them injectors. Big Paul, Big Paul's trucking. Hey, I just want to show you guys where we're at. Well, it's the end of the week, and uh, let me check this out. This is what we got done this week. I know it doesn't seem like it was a uh, really, you know, real productive week, but there's a lot of prep work. Look at all this stuff: sandblasted and painted cab mount. This is a part of the engine mount right here that goes across the frame. It really turned out good. Um, have all these little parts that are all supporting parts for those parts. But uh, as you guys can see, they really turned out good. I'm going to let it, everything dry overnight where it's at. So I wanted to show you guys where I'm at for the week, what I've been up to, and also check this out. These are all the old uh, hydraulic hoses. I had all new hoses made. Um, for putting that uh, cab up and down and uh, we even primed the pump well, the pump's going to get uh, primed well it got primed just like the rest so when we assemble all this this will all be primed and look fantastic so uh, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to do some more uh, sandblasting tomorrow's going to be Saturday this is my uh, first cross member I'm going to sandblast paint or excuse me prime and then this is the other piece we have to get done tomorrow which is uh the underneath side actually you're looking at of the air ride for the cap and a bunch of this stuff over to my right again uh puts uh bolts to this and i gotta remake a couple things i had to destroy that's gonna have to get cut off and remade to look like that one but this side came apart just fine, but uh, we're getting there. Now, next week, we're also going to work on these of the uh, torque arm brackets. Those got to get sandblasted and primed. These are the shock mounts, all four of them. Those are going to get sandblasted and primed as well. We're just kind of working through these pieces, guys, but uh, I wanted to get back with you and uh, show you guys where we're at. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Next week, we're going to actually get some things on the truck. Because, um, uh, again, it's just prep work after prep work. Some things have to go in front of other things when I assemble. And tomorrow, I'm going to take these uh, fuel tank brackets right here off the fuel tanks. And put the fuel tanks outside because we don't need them right now. But those brackets also need to be sandblasted and primed. And then they're ready to bolt to the frame. And uh, it's actually bracket first for the fuel tank. Uh, and then it's the exhaust bracket. Um, and then the cab bracket. Well, it's the cab bracket, then the exhaust bracket, and then the fuel tank bracket again. But they all have to be in an order in the right place. Um, and I want to have them on the chassis so when I, you know, spray all my color on everything, I want all the metal that's going to get color on there at one time. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, sticking with me to the end. Big Paul's out! <laughs>